We are less than a week away from the end of our first stationary security service cycle, so here are some small tips that might help you if you find yourself struggling with the mode. First, when it comes to the rewards, you only need to reach the bi-weekly cap of the 30 data supplement sticks and 12 data supplement instruments to not miss out on the materials. Iron Carrot and Toron Mines are both staying for one more cycle before one of them gets replaced, so you will have at least until the end of January to get the first time clear rewards and the secret medals for both of them. Right now the fastest way to reach the bi-weekly material cap is to do 6 floors then quit and repeat until you reach the cap. While there is no single best way to build your roster, there are still practices that will help you to get through the floors. You will want 2 or 3 core damage dealers. From there it's good to have 2 vanguards, 2 or 3 snipers, 1 or 2 casters, 1 or 2 specialists and fill out the space left with supporters. Depending on your roster, having at least one medic with medic B for operator reviving might also be advisable. While it's best to have cheaper snipers and casters to stack the buffs, area of effect and multi-target casters scale quite nicely. Supporters help cycle through your operators faster. They are also a safe choice before the next floor if you don't know who to pick. Specialists help keep the important operators deployable. It's best to pick the ones that can be placed on both melee and ranged tiles, such as hookmasters. Currently the best operators for the damage output are in no particular order, Passenger, Gnosis, Golden Glow and Ayafiala for the ranged operators and Irene for melee operators. Carnelian is also a great alternative to Aya, just don't give her the attack speed buffs. Chen the Holong Day is also fine, however the enemies have quite a high defense, so casters will generally do better. Irene bypasses it somewhat thanks to her talent. Tuzuran is a solid alternative to Gnosis if you can't use him. Skadi the Corrupting Heart is also great if you can stack caster B buffs on her. Flainte is also a good starter thanks to her skill 3. Yes, in its current iteration, SSS really encourages using 6 stars if you want to get it done without spending too much time on it. Tactician Vanguards are also particularly noteworthy however, as their A buff is the same as caster A, and since they are also placed on range tiles, you can use them as a caster A substitute and take caster B instead. Hope that helps, good luck and see you next time.